Hey guys, welcome back, welcome to a new video. Hope you're having a fantastic December day. Today for you, we're gonna be checking out my favorite products from 2023. So this is basically a roundup of all the things that I have discovered this year that I've loved. We're gonna go through them all. I've got them all like here. There's quite a few, so it could be a long video. I'm also gonna mention a couple of products that I think I should have loved and really didn't, and a couple of products that I think might be good products for 2024. Let's check it out. So I thought I would start with the smallest category first, and that's hair products. I've got two products to show you. One which is really budget friendly and just amazing, and the other one is super bougie, but incredibly good as well. So I feel like I'm kind of covering all bases here. The first one being, yes, it's Glaze. Now, this has become an absolute staple for me this year. I use it every single time I wash my hair. You can use it basically like a leave-in, kind of like long conditioner. So I put it on for like five minutes when I'm in the shower. And yeah, it does leave your hair super soft and nourished. You can use it as an overnight mask. It's incredible. You can normally get these on offer as well in Superdrug. And yeah, I use the clear one because I've tried a couple of the coloured ones and it just, yeah, it didn't work for me. But the Glaze Clear is incredible. Now moving on to the more expensive product, this is incredibly bougie, incredibly expensive. It's not going to be in everyone's budget, but if you want amazing hair, like incredible, um, and you can afford it, I definitely can't. I'm very lucky that, you know, I bought this as a gift for myself. I couldn't buy it regularly. Um, it smells amazing. This is from Sicily Paris and it is their leave-in balm. So it's an overnight balm. You put it in your hair before you wash it, like a pre-wash treatment. And this makes your hair feel in incredible. Like if you've got flyaways, frizz, um, dryness, brittle, anything, you color your hair, you're looking for soft, supple, shiny hair, this is amazing. Now, as I said, it is expensive. I'm going to put all the details for it in the drop box below. But if you want amazing hair in 2024, this is the one. I've got four skincare products to show you, starting off with lips. Now, I realised this product didn't come out in 2023, but it's when I discovered it, when I had the opportunity to go up to Sephora in Westfield in London. Incredible opportunity, such an amazing day. A very expensive day, I might add. But I did pick up, when I went up there, the Sleeping Lip Mask. This one is amazing. Whenever my lips feel dry, start feeling a little bit, you know, like crusty, put this on half an hour, oh, lips have just like completely reset themselves. So if you are looking for a really, really good lip product, I have to say this has blown everything else I have out the water. My other half actually came in and tried to steal it the other day. He doesn't wear products, like no products. He's not a product person. He uses Dove soap. Next up, we have Neil's Yard. Now, I have mentioned this in a couple of videos. This is featured many times in my Love Hates and Empties for 2023. It's under £20 this product and if you are looking for something to give extra hydration to your skin for 2024 on a budget, you want an amazing serum that is just incredible. This is... honestly, I've never used a hyaluronic acid like it. It's brilliant. It's really, really good. It gives a beautiful sheen to the skin, but it's also super hydrating. It's really, really helped with my fine lines and wrinkles. It makes my skin feel really comfortable and plump. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this and I would not be without it. This is like my third bottle now. Next up, moisturiser. Now, if you've followed my channel for a long time, you'll know I'm a huge Elemis fan. So the next two products might seem a little bit out of sync with what I would normally say, but 
if you're looking for a really good moisturiser and want to try something different, how about Clinique? Now, I was very kindly gifted this from my work. This is the Clinique Smart Clinical Repair Cream. It's meant to be firming and lifting. And I have to say, the formula of this is so thick and heavy but it's really nice, it melts into the skin, it's great for like the neck area, the jowling area. This has really helped and I have absolutely loved it. Really, really nice. And um, yeah, I'm working my way through it. I've not gone back to my Elemis, I've been very much enjoying this. I obviously still love my Elemis products, but it is kind of nice to tell your skin to wake up every now and again and throw something different in the mix, which is exactly what I'm doing with Clinique. Now this, as I said, might be a bit controversial. I love Elemis, but for 2023, I found myself reaching for a lot of different types of products because I feel like I just wanted to see what was out there. When Elemis released this product, I had such high hopes. I was really, really excited. I wanted to see what all the hype was gonna be about, whether or not people were gonna love it. I thought I was gonna love it. I didn't fall in love with it and that is everything that's come out this year from the new rose range so i really love the rose cleansing balm i love the scent of all the rose products but i didn't really feel like the rose did much for my skin type so it's meant to be designed if you've got irritated dry dehydrated a little bit of rosacea um the rose is going to be calming and soothing on the skin so for me i got this this is the elemis pro collagen rose marine cream and i've just not reached for it so yeah let me know if you tried it this year and whether you loved it or not but for me i just didn't feel like i needed to add it into my skincare routine and as a result it sat on the shelf now two products that i purchased this year that took me totally by surprise that i fell in love with uh was the sol de janeiro fragrances so this is the number 62 brazilian crush i also have the blush version which i really like in fact i've liked all of them all the ones that i've had the opportunity to smell i've loved they don't have a lot of staying power they do just smell really nice in the moment and maybe for about half an hour or so afterwards they are more of a body spritz than a fragrance but wow guys these little bad boys honestly incredible if you've not smelt these oh dreamy really really nice really nice the second product that had me dazzled this year was by Made by Mitchell and it is Drip Drip. I don't think this came out this year but it was an absolute sensational trend. I had to pick this up, I love an inner corner highlight and popping this on is insane. I did feature this in like what I'd love to be in an advent calendar this year. I feel like, I feel like everybody should have this in their arsenal, a multi-purpose silver sparkly product that you can use for fun makeup, highlight makeup, all that kind of stuff. This is just so good. Really, really love it. I mean, yeah, definite, absolute find. So two Charlotte Tilbury products that I have loved this year uh, the first one being the beautiful skin concealer i think it came out early last year and it was just very very popular and i've really enjoyed using this not so much the uh, beautiful skin foundation i think it's nice but not amazing but the the concealer is very good um, and then the collagen lip baths so these again have featured really heavily over the past year in my love hates and empties and i think these are great if you're looking for a little bit of tint for the lips not too much looking for that gorgeous glow a little bit plumping a little bit of gloss you can add sparkle in if you want to you can you know add a bit of color now how difficult do you find it to find a good mascara now i do wear a lot of fake lashes but every now and again i do want a good mascara and this is definitely one that i've reached for time and time again it's the lancome idol mascara this is a bit of a bugger to remove i'm not gonna lie i do sometimes have to really get in there with a really good um oil based remover on top of my cleansing balm it is yeah it, it doesn't shift 
but it does give a nice volume it does separate the lashes nicely it's a little bit thicker than some other mascaras it's not too thick i really like this i've rebought it several times and um yeah it's lasted a long time as well i actually think it's really nice that the packaging as well doesn't tend to look too scruffy i've you know i've used this for quite a while and the packaging itself seems to have remained quite in good nick so yeah I really like this mascara. What's your favourite mascara of in 2023? I'm also a big fan of the Laura Mercier setting powder. I have really enjoyed using it but for me I still find that within a few hours I'm a little bit oily through the t-zone. Not like really oily but just not as matte as I want to be. Um, however they've brought out this one. So I'm a big fan of the Laura Mercier setting powder. It's something that I've had in my collection, oh gosh, maybe for a year or so now. I've got a huge one, like a really big one that I got in the Black Friday sales last year. This year, I was very kindly gifted the Laura Mercier translucent ultra blurring powder. Now, I have to say, I do feel like the original powder tends to stay in the pot better don't know why that is this one it gets everywhere but I actually prefer this powder I do find that it gives me a more blurred less shiny finish uh, than the translucent setting powder this is just amazing really really great so if you love like photography and things like that and having a really blurred skin uh, this is beautiful my top eyeshadow palette discovery for 2023 is something that oh i love this palette so much not necessarily because i love every color in it but i love the formula and that is bobby brown so this is their celestial christmas palette i mean the packaging alone just gives me the most amazing amazing vibes i mean it's so pretty um yeah it's oh dreamy but i really love their sparkles and this is just everything sparkly and good in the world of bobby brown uh, i use the sparkles over the top of all my other eyeshadows to give my eyes a real great sparkly pop especially at this time of the year but yeah i do really just love them so these two specifically are, as you can see what I've been diving into I've not really used the sort of like the blue and the pink as much they're not really my cup of tea but the champagne and the baby pink that are over here beautiful I have tried the browns and the mattes they're not really you know it for me but yes I love this you even got a giant Bobbi Brown highlighter in there it's such a lovely palette you've got the mirror and um, yeah, if you can get the hold of this one, it's a good, you know, price because I think one of those shadows is worth 30 quid if you buy it on its own. But in here, obviously, you've got six. I mean, that's that's pretty good. So finally, the product I can see myself using the most in 2024 is a new product to me. It's something that I've recently had the opportunity to try and oh, I am, yeah, I'm loving it. I must admit. I am, I do have expensive taste, I know, but it is Chanel's hand cream. So there's not much I can afford on a Chanel counter. I have picked up some of their lipsticks in the past, but I really wanted a new hand cream because I was gifted a handbag recently and I thought, well, it'd be lovely to have a nice new hand cream to go in there. The packaging of this is so nice that I cannot put it in there because I'm so scared it's going to get scratched. I'm going to have to buy another one. Sounds extreme, I know, but yeah, I love this. The style of it, how it works, the smell, the formula of the hand cream is just brilliant. A little goes a long way. And yeah, I've been reaching for it daily so every evening when i come home from work i wash my hands and i pop on a little bit of a hand cream and that's how i start my evening so it is a really nice luxury product it is an expensive hand cream but yes 
definitely will be on my wish list next year if I've used all of it. It's a good size as well, it's 50 mils. So guys, that is everything from me for this video. I hope you enjoyed discovering some products with me in 2023. Let me know if there's anything you've discovered this year that you feel like I need to try. But for now guys, enjoy, take care, have a lovely Christmas and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.